The packaging for the Classic consists of a frosted plastic case with a parts diagram on the back, a molded in clasp in the front that seems to be more than capable of keeping the case closed, and instructional leaflets on the inside showing you how to operate and disassemble the pen. A dense foam interior has cutouts specifically for the silicone lube and piston wrench, and then of course the pen. The Twisby Classic is available in three colors, Classic Burgundy, Classic Black, and the Classic Blue you see here. These rich colors are contrasted nicely by shiny chrome trim. The Classic features a simple design that's different from any previous offerings from Twisby. The pen has four flat sides with large radius edges, a rounding of the square, if you will. Also, when the pen is capped, the cap and barrel are flush, creating a smooth, clean line. Uncapping the pin, which requires only one revolution, reveals a thin section of uniform width and a feature we haven't seen before on a Twisby, an ink window. The number four stainless steel nib is made by Yovo and comes in sizes extra fine, fine, medium, broad, or 1.1 stub. Let's take a look at how the Classic stacks up to the rest of Twisby's lineup. Here we have the Classic, the Mini, the Micarta, the Diamond 540, and the VAC 700. It's clearly visible that the Classic has a slimmer profile than the rest of these pens while maintaining a usable length. Let's see how removing the caps affects the situation. Not much changed. The Classic is the same length as the Micarta, just a few millimeters shorter than the 540, and just a few more shorter than the VAC 700. Of course, you wouldn't use the Mini without posting it, and I know a few who post the other pens. Since the Classic is physically unable to post, it gets dwarfed by the others. Even the Mini ends up being longer. And this is what I think really kills the appeal of this pen to a lot of people. It's one thing for a company to say they don't intend for users to post their pens, but it's a whole other thing to completely remove the possibility, and I think Twisby made a big mistake here. Just for fun, let's see what the Classic would look like in my hand if it could post. Its length is very reasonable, and given how light the pen is, actually makes for a very comfortable rider. Really, Twisby, what were you thinking? But even without the ability to post, the Classic still feels good in the hand. I won't be reaching for it when I write my next novel, but it's plenty comfortable for taking notes and should appeal to those users who prefer thin and light pens. That is, if they can get over the mild step and transition from the section to the barrel. Some users are fiercely critical of any step, and while I don't prefer it, it, I really didn't notice it on the Classic. If you look at my grip, you'll notice my thumb rests directly on the transition, and it never bothered me while I used it. One of my favorite features of the Classic is its ability to be used with the Diamond ink bottle. This provides a clean way to fill your pen without having to worry about cleaning the nib when you're done. The piston unit is made by Twisby, in-house, and has a silky smooth feel to it. At max capacity, the Classic will hold about 1.1 milliliters of ink. For reference, the Mini and the 540 hold 1.3 and 1.7 milliliters, respectively. The steel nib in the Classic really surprised me. I went with the fine nib, as that's what I use in my daily writers, and it was as smooth as any fine nib I've ever used. Yes, it was stiff, as all steel nibs are, but there was no hint of scratching or roughness. It was perfect, and the feed performed flawlessly, supplying a steady flow of ink that was neither wet nor dry. During all my writing, I never experienced any skips or hard starts. As far as I'm concerned, Twisby has made another great fountain pen. It's not a must-buy, and it won't be for everyone, mostly because it doesn't post and it's thinner and lighter than what most users prefer, but it still offers more than other pens can, costing twice as much. The Classic is a good addition to the Twisby lineup, and gives new users and those on a budget just another option. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.